Hello, this is Cityscape, a regular vodcast featuring people, places, and ideas that impact Livonia. I'm Dan West with the Livonia Chamber of Commerce. Today we are at the Livonia Manufacturing Facility, operated by a Livonia couple that produces amazing custom-made wood furniture and fixtures that enhances stores and restaurants across Metro Detroit. Burke Architectural Millwork opened five years ago by Kelly Victor Burke and her husband Barry Burke. Kelly is a Franklin High School graduate, a longtime college professor of tourism and historic preservation, who met Barry, a native of Ireland, who came to the United States where he learned to be a builder and craftsman. They merged their professional talents to start this woodworking shop that produced cabinetry, booths, furniture, paneling, and other interior items for local businesses such as Cantero's Restaurant and Schoolcraft College and Rockies of Northville. They also made items for several newer Detroit restaurants. The Burks have also used their shop to promote their line of work and the skilled trades to young people exploring careers. They enthusiastically welcome local school students to their place for tours and hands-on experiences. We are now joined by Kelly and Barry. Thank you for joining us today. Thank um, you. You guys have been married 18 years right now. How did you two meet? Well, it happened in 2002 when Barry came to visit a distant American cousin who happens to be my sister-in-law. And so uh, the joke is that I picked him up at the airport and I never let him go. So, so you, you, can, you, can, you agree with that story, Barry? I guess I can. <laughs> Uh, Kelly, talk about your career as a college professor and how it's formed uh, the work you're doing today. Well, I had an opportunity to look at disciplinary inquiries and to take a look at what different disciplines need for students to be competent in, in, their, in their studies and in their future lines of work. And I was really taken about talking with Barry about the competencies that craftsmen, especially mill workers need to have, that is largely unnoticed and I think unappreciated in this country. For example, having a very thorough knowledge of mathematics, geometry, having artistic abilities, all of these are what is needed to be a really competent woodworker and cabinet maker in this industry. Now, Kelly and Barry both, uh, as many small business people go, there's a lot of hours put in to make this thing work. And I know you've worked a lot of crazy hours making the products you make, Barry. What is it that you enjoy about the work? Um, I enjoy that every, um, every project is custom, so every project is a little different. And um, it's always a challenge keeping uh, the project on budget and on time. So. Just trying to make all that work is uh, always a challenge and um, it gets you up early in the morning and keeps you working late at night, so I enjoy that. Um, like starting any new business has its challenge, but what do you think it's taken for you to get to the five year mark and talk a little bit about your COVID challenges as well that has allowed you guys to sustain for five years and uh, continue to seek growth? So to make it to five years is mm -hmm. such an amazing accomplishment for us. You know, I think that it's been that continual process of learning over the five years that has kept us growing. Uh, it has uh, been really beneficial to take part in networking, like working with the chambers, being part of the I-275 industrial corridor, mm -hmm. um, opportunities like attending the Goldman Sachs 10,000 Small Business Program. Always learning has been, I think, the hallmark of what has kept us going for these five years. It has been a, uh, it's a marathon. It is true that we work 24 seven. We're always thinking, talking about work, even though we say we don't bring it home, we actually do. Um, we have that ability to take on custom millwork projects for the people who become our colleagues and become our friends. We see their dreams of what we're building for them come into reality. And it gives us that, that 
tremendous satisfaction, not only for Barry and myself, but our whole BAM team, to be able to go to these places in our local community and say, I made that, I remember working on that. And to have those projects be so successful has been a real tremendous accomplishment. And in COVID, we've had to, and due to COVID, we've had to really change a lot of how we do things. For example, pre-COVID, the majority of all of our projects were in hospitality and bars and restaurants, and that has pretty much dried up. Mm -hmm. And so trying to pivot, what are things that we're doing now? Well, we're making plexiglass barriers. Uh, we're also pivoting and having opportunities to do high-end residential work and also retail work. So we are really thankful that the designers that we worked with previously are giving us these opportunities to, to do things that are different. And I always look at the silver lining and the silver lining in all of this for me, and I'm sure for Barry too, is that we're growing. So being able to go beyond just bars and restaurants and hospitality and go into retail it leads me to think every time I go to a grocery store, oh, this is how that's done, or into that high-end commercial resi or high-end residential work to know that people are going to be living in and among the, the things that we've built. It, again, it's that same satisfaction that is that common thread that has been woven by us in these five years. When we get beyond the immediate COVID challenges, what do you think it'll take for Burke uh, Architectural Millwork to remain uh, going and growing in the years ahead? I think our biggest goal is for us to hire new employees. Workforce development, I think, is our biggest goal in the, for the upcoming years because right now we're working the 24-7 and we want to get to the place where we can allow other younger workers in particular to learn how to work in this trade so that they can eventually take over for us uh, in the future. And that is the reason why I worked for the past three years with many uh, stakeholders like the chamber, uh, like Schoolcraft College, like the uh, Department of Labor uh, to work on and to get a registered apprenticeship called Millwork Manufacturing Specialist, uh, and I'm sorry, Woodwork Manufacturing Specialist passed so that we can attract new talent into this industry because the majority of all of the workforce in our industry are in their 50s and nearing retirement. So we need, and I know that this is an industry-wide concern. Mm -hmm. So I, we're not the only ones that are working on it. And it really feels rewarding that we were able to accomplish something that is going to and toward a solution like this new registered apprenticeship. And I think it's great that you guys have been leaders in getting this discussion out there because the skilled trades is one of the biggest needs we have in our community. And it's just not making auto parts. It's what you folks do right here. All the unique creations and all the things you create and design, and uh, which I think would be an exciting career for any young person that has that kind of inherent skill. So I definitely appreciate uh, what you folks are doing in that regard. So, but to uh, Kelly Victor Burke and to Barry Burke, we thank you for spending some time with us today. Congratulations on your first five years in, um, in business, 18 years of marriage, and many, many years in both, to both of you. So thank you for joining us. Thank so, you, Dan. That's all the time we have for this edition of Cityscape. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.